Hey, I'm Zavin Kachturian, currently I serve as Senior Science Advisor to the Alzheimer's Association in the U.S. Uh, I also serve as the Editor-in-Chief of the Alzheimer's and Dementia Journal of the Alzheimer's Association. Uh, my interest in Alzheimer's learning memory is, goes back to the late 50s. I've been involved in research in many years and in developing programs. Uh, taking a historic look at Alzheimer's, we, a, we are at a very important, remarkable, historic point. Uh, Thirty years ago, very little was known about Alzheimer's disease. There were no societies, there were no family groups. There were only a handful of worldwide scientists that knew anything about it. You couldn't diagnose. There were no treatments. Uh, the funding of research was uh, nibiscule. But in very short uh, time, 30 years, we've made remarkable progress uh, where there are several treatments available now and prospects of better and more effective treatments are looming. We had a very successful culmination in awareness with the uh, organization and execution of the G8 summit, which was held uh, in December. Uh, in London, which brought the problem to the worldwide attention. So we're very hopeful that in a short time, within 10 years, we will be able to develop the interventions that would significantly reduce the prevalence and hopefully uh, delay the onset of the disease, eventually prevention. So it's a very um, uh, a remarkable story if one were to look at the history of Alzheimer's, the history of the family support groups starting from ground zero to bring it to this point is just a, a miracle almost uh, and very hopeful for the future of what, what's to come yet. But it's in order to achieve that goal we need the support of the public, we need the support of the politicians, we need the support of donors, we need the support of scientists, because this is an equal opportunity problem. It affects everyone, doesn't recognize any borders, doesn't recognize any political uh, preferences, is gender uh, neutral, uh, race neutral, culture neutral, affects everyone. So uh, we need to take action. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development has launched a major initiative and Canada has become a leader in that effort in there will be Canada will be leading, organizing and leading what's called a legacy meeting to follow up the G8 summit with some action plans of what needs to be done, what kind of public policies needs to be created, what needs to be done in a concerted way. Uh, so I'm very proud to be affiliated with the Alzheimer's Society of Canada uh, and the leadership they're beginning to assume in uh, leading this charge in solving the problem of Alzheimer's.